In this illustration, we intend to simulate the shear flexural yielding damper under cyclic loading in the Abacus software. As you observe in the picture, the yielding metallic damper includes shear plate, flexural plate, base plate, and shear tap. In this picture, you can observe the formation of the shear flexural yielding damper. In this picture, the deformation gained from the Abacus software have been compared with the experimental results. In this question, a cyclic loading is applied to the top of the yielding damper, and following that, its hysteresis diagram will be drawn. In this picture, the hysteresis diagram of the yielding damper has been drawn. As you observe, the hysteresis diagram obtained from the Abacus software has a good conformity with the experimental results. Actually, we intend to simulate this article in the Abacus software. The article is entitled Cyclic Behavior of Shear and Flextural Yielding Metallic Dampers. In this picture, the yielding damper in the laboratory can be observed. Here, you observe the hysteresis diagram having been drawn in the article. I will enter the Abacus software for simulation. I will click on create part. I intend to create geometric shape of base plate. I will select the modeling space as 3D, deformable, shell and planner. Enter approximate size equal to 1 and continue. I will draw a rectangle. Here, in this table, the sizes of base plate, flex chair plate, and shear plate have been distinguished. The length and width of base plate is 270 mm multiplied by 260 mm, and its thickness is equal to 16 mm. I will enter the length of base plate equal to 0 0.27 meters and its width equal to 0 0.26 meters. And then click on done. Again, I will click on create part. I intend to create a geometric shape of shear plate. Continue. I will draw a rectangle the length and width of shear plate is equal to 200 millimeters. I will click on create section. Here, select shell and homogeneous and continue. I will select flexure plate material.
The thickness of flexure plate is equal to 8 millimeters. I will select a flex chop plate, done. Here, select flex chop plate section. In the next step, we intend to draw the hysteresis diagram of the yielding damper. Actually, we intend to draw this diagram in the Abacus software. I will click on Create XMI Data, select ODB History Output, and continue. Here, I'll select Reaction Force directed at X and displacement directed at X and click on save as. Here you can observe the diagrams of reaction force and displacement. As it can be observed in this diagram, the horizontal axis is drift, the unit of which is percentage. So here we should convert displacement into drift. To do so, I will click on create XY data select operate on xy data and continue i will select u1 then i will divide that by 0 0.2 meters and then multiply that by 100 in the next step i will click on combine first select drift then select rf one and then click on save as here you observe the hysteresis diagram having been drawn in the abacus software i will transfer the diagram to the excel software the first column is drift the unit of which is percentage and then and the second column is force, the unit of which is Newton.
Here, the diagram having been uh, drawn with blue color is the one obtained from the Abacus software. As you observe, the results gained from the Abacus software are very close to, the, to those mentioned in the article, indicating that this question has been simulated correctly in the Abacus software.